so this is the isometric for this is hip extension with the knee bent so it's more like one legs in a squat position start with the, always the shin parallel to the ground but where the knee is compared to the hip will be dependent on what you feel in your knee so start with the knee right over the hip okay and then what you're going to do is gently push the heel into the wall so my right heel is going into the wall at the same time my left leg is going to go into the wall on the other side so that net doesn't compensate and then what I want you to do is ramp up so the breathing is really important so it's inhale you fill and then ramping up so you can tell if there's any onset of knee pain and then you just don't go that hard okay so that's a skill that I want you to work on is that there's a sense of it's not just zero to 100 percent it's 10 percent 20 percent 30 so you can figure out what you're ready to train when you can go to 100 percent it's pain free then you get closer to the wall and you just do it inch by inch closer to the wall everything being the same so the pressure's through the heel okay so ideally we want to get back here working but we're going to have to be gentle around the knee because the knee is going to be the first thing that wants to talk to you all right so after you do 10 seconds five times there whatever within your comfort level do it on both sides then you're going to go you might have to take some time to de-stiffen the leg to bring it up to straight all right you're flexible enough to get your butt to the wall this leg don't let it turn out so you're going to have that foot the inside of the foot touching the wall there and then the goal would be to keeping this left leg straight press that left leg into the wall and then you're going to press the right heel downward but again it's a slow ramping process so ribs will come down you'll tighten your belly a little bit you can make gentle fists and then it's just off so it's on ramping up for about 10 seconds and then off relax all right so you'll do that five times and then switch sides okay when you come out of it you're going to be a little stiff most likely at least early on so some things you can do i know you don't like touching your knee but you could mobilize the patella just to kind of make sure that it's moving because if it's moving then it's not can't be stiff all right the other thing that's easier is just let the hips swivel okay ankle pumps all right and then little knee bounces so you can do this one side here because that's coming from the hip all right and then the more fluid those bounces the less tension there is there and a lot of times if you have any residual burning or anything it fades away